Hey guys, welcome back. If you own an iMac, you know how annoying it is to go to the back and have to deal with when you need to plug something in, like an SD card or USB cord. So I go back to the machine a lot to plug in the SD card, and I'm always fishing around in there trying to plug it in. Now you could get some kind of dongle that comes out and hangs around somewhere, and that works pretty good, but there's a better option, and that's this hub right here. So this is by a company called Sachi. And the cool thing about this thing is that it permanently mounts at the bottom of your iMac so there's no wires going everywhere. So it's a much cleaner, more integrated kind of experience. Now they do have two different versions, the silver and the space gray. I went ahead with space gray and the reason I went for that is because I didn't want it to be part of the iMac. I wanted it to look more of an accessory so it's a different color, a darker. And plus darker colors usually look better as attachments than lighter ones. So yeah, this is the box it comes in. So it does use a USB type C for communication. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like. So this is how it's packaged. So overall it feels pretty good. You got a pretty nice short little cable and you don't need a long one for where it's going to mount. There's a logo on top of it. Then we got a little rolling wheel here and what that does it separates these little tabs here and this is how you're going to lock it in. So part of the body is metal, this part all on the top is metal and then the bottom here is plastic and this is also plastic here. So. But overall seems to be a pretty good quality. Now the price on this thing is a little bit high, but it seems like for what it can do, it's quite worth it. So yeah, here we can see all our ports, full size SD card, micro SD card, three USB type A plugs, and a USB type C port. So a good amount of options. And so mounting this thing is quite simple. It's gonna go literally underneath the iMac here. And if we look a little closer, we can see that there's holes underneath and these tabs literally go into the holes. So you do have a few options where you want to mount it. You can go more towards the edge or closer to the center. So I think overall to the side it would make more sense because it's going to be farther away from the keyboard. And also there is a limit of how far you can go because of this cable. It's not that long. And so yeah, we just literally go up into there and then we're going to bend that little knob there until it grabs. And so as you tighten it, this is what it looks like. So it doesn't sit exactly flat with this face. It kind of points up just a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it points up a bit here and kind of leans back down here. So I guess the way those ports are, it has to do that. But it does have a really nice clean line here. So yeah, not the best look, but you know, not too bad for sure. And then we're going to grab the USB Type-C and we're going to plug it into one of the ports. And this is what it looks like. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. It's quite minimalistic and it's out of the way quite nicely. And the best part about it is I don't have to go to the bag anymore and dig, try to find this SD card slot. Just like that. Now it doesn't go in all the way, it kind of sticks out, but it is right there, easy accessibility. And as I plugged it in, we can see here, it popped right up on the screen. And by the way, there is a little light that glows there that I didn't notice earlier. You can see it, but it's very faint, so it's not gonna be in the way. So yeah, if you want a more nice polished solution for this issue of the ports being in the back, this little hub port from Sachi seems to do the trick. So if you want to get one for yourself, I'm going to have some links in the description. Check it out. And if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful, then hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this and other things I do on this channel, then stay tuned. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.